What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel now Today we've got the interesting facts you're too lazy to Google now his Buddy's got an iPhone 6 in his hand I think so this video when was it made? Actually, this video was made one year ago, so I don't know what he's doing there. But hey, if you guys are new, subscribe. We're on that way to 3,000 motherfucking subscribers. We want to hit it before my birthday, June 26. There's a chance. There is a very big chance we can hit it. But hey, check it out. Let's go. It's packed full of information you may have never thought to ask. But that doesn't mean we always have the time or energy to go out and find it. Lucky for you, I've compiled a list of some interesting facts you're just too lazy to Google. Okay, let's get into it. What the fuck? Why do How we was look that? better in the mirror? The real reason. Bro, who thinks they look better in the mirror? Well, you can only see yourself in the mirror. You can. You know what? You know what trips me the fuck out, everyone. I'm sure this trip. Think about this: that you can never see yourself, like your whole body, from another person's perspective. Isn't that just kind of scary and kind of weird? I mean, it's a good thing, but. Like, we will never see what we look like to someone else, which is, is weird. And why we tend to shy away from our appearance in photographs is a little more complex than just a bad hair day. Yeah, our mirror image is essentially a flipped version of our true selves, which means we're far more used to seeing someone who doesn't really exist. When we anticipate Damn. seeing this mirror image in a photograph, we set ourselves up for instant disappointment. Whereas friends and family will often see nothing wrong with what we can see yeah, in a photo. Because that's the version of us they always see. And that's that was so weird! Wasn't trippy enough, differing photographic focal lengths can also alter someone's face shape entirely. So can we ever truly know what we look like? Why do we hate the sound of our voice on camera? <laughs> I hate to break now, it Now, okay, the there's gonna be very little pausing. I'm sorry for the two pauses, but, you know, when there's something like... I mean, I do YouTube, so of course, you know, I have to edit my own videos. I don't watch my own videos that often, unless it's a review or something like that. But when I'm editing and stuff, and I have to hear my own voice, it doesn't bother me at all. I literally don't care. But when I was in, you know, when I was at school and you used to hear your own voice, that's when... Because you always think, what are they thinking about me? But now... I don't give a fuck what people think about me. So it's kind of the transition, you know, when you don't care what people think. Like, who gives a fuck? You know, we all have unique voices. The We're all different. The recordings you hear of yourself in Look videos are far more accurate than the speaking voice you're so used to. Facts. The reason we're so shocked when listening to ourselves back is because, while others only hear the sound waves conducted by air, the voice you know is a combination of external sound alongside the internal acoustics of our bones. The fuck? Your voice reverberating around your skull produces rich, low-frequency pitches which don't exist externally, meaning our voices are generally higher than we'd like to no. think. No! Why don't our eyes get cold? I've always taken pride in not having a very high voice, but now I... You know, now I probably have to talk like this because I don't fucking know. It might not have crossed your you know. mind. But unlike other bodily <laughs> extremities, our eyeballs aren't able to determine coldness or heat, huh? which is down to a lack of temperature receptor cells. In fact, the largest part of the human eye is nestled comfortably inside the skull, where they're constantly pumped with a strong supply of warm blood. Hey, that's kind of cool! They're inside a functioning body with additional bone, tissue, and fat to keep them warm. Really? It's virtually impossible for your eyeballs to freeze at sub-zero temperatures. That's good! I Why like that! Why does freshly cut <laughs> grass smell so good? Huh? To put it plainly, it that doesn't. delightful scent wafting through the summer breeze is actually just the grass screaming in agony. Ah! When grass is cut, a greater number of organic compounds known no. as green leaf volatiles are released to aid the plant in closing the wounds when producing new cells. This combination of eight oxygenated hydrocarbons along with alcohols and aldehydes, which make up the GLVs, also happen to be pleasing to the nose. So next time you stop to take a long sniff, just remember, it's the sweet Nah, fuck it. Trauma. I mean, if it smells good, just give it a Why sniff. Why does the guess, sun make our dead. skin darker, but hair lighter? Wait, what? After a day in the sun, your skin will probably be browner or redder if you I just get sunburned. Yeah. But your hair will probably turn a shade lighter. And this is all down to the power of sun damage. Sun in both crazy. cases, sunlight breaks down melanin, the pigment responsible for the color of hair and skin. But with one key difference. When sun bleaches and destroys melanin in your hair, oh. it becomes lighter. And since hair isn't a living thing, it'll stay that way until new follicles wait, grow in. Wait, On the other hand, skin is equipped to respond to this damage by producing more melanocyte cells which protect us from harmful UV radiation, darkening our skin. Why is snow so quiet? The body so is quiet? so weird. <laughs> As it turns out, there's a scientific reason the body makes why no snowy sense. landscapes are associated with peace and quiet. 
Huh. As fluffy snow accumulates on True! Why is snow quiet? The ground I didn't even like think a about sound that. absorber because it's essentially a porous material like foam, and as snow doesn't hit the ground with nearly as much force as water, even the heaviest snowstorm can seem relatively silent. Really? Snow also stacks up with a lot of air between flakes, which oh, okay. means sound waves have less surface yeah. area to bounce off than raindrops, for example, making most sounds seem muffled. Damn. Why I've never been to the snow. That's what pisses me off. It sucks. Can't robots press the I am not a robot box. With modern Fact. developments in AI, it's hard to believe that a robot couldn't just declare itself as a human yeah. online. Fortunately, though, the Antibot CAPTCHA system has been specially programmed by Google to record a multitude of human actions like the number of accidental key presses, mouse clicks, taps, and scrolls made on the page. Similarly, while an AI bot would probably move quickly in a straight line to the box, human reaction tends to be delayed and imprecise. Experts say it's almost impossible for a bot to replicate a human. But if you practice hard enough, you can probably trip the caption into thinking you're a robot. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna probably do that now the next Why time it comes up. in a V formation? What seems like a common practice for migrating long-winged birds like geese has actually baffled scientists for years until very recently. In 2014, a study focusing on ibises unraveled the mystery by determining that it's a handy energy-saving technique oh, similar to how squadrons of planes can save fuel in a V formation. Each fly. bird is perfectly positioned to time their wing beats to the bird in front so that they catch the uplifting oh! currents ahead, which gives every member of the flock a little break in rotation. Damn, that's kind of cool! It directs the flock while also providing swirls of air to those behind. And this ingenious chain of piggybacking can even use 20 to 30 percent less energy. Bro, blood that is use fucking your ring cool. Finger. Routine blood tests aren't always pleasant. Shout out to birds. If, there's, they if there's any birds watching, <laughs> let me know. Worse if nurses didn't always choose the ring finger. Firstly, your thumbs and pinky fingers contain tendons, which communicate with the entire hand and wrist. Really? So getting an infection here could spread to the entire arm. Damn. Of the remaining fingers, your ring finger is used the least, meaning that the skin is more delicate and easier to puncture with less pain, and the wound will also heal much faster. Why does time pass faster as you get older? Why do... It doesn't sound like there's much science behind if this one. If you feel like the years are getting shorter with age, it might not be all in your head. Using simple philosophy, designer Maximilian Kiner has created a graph which demonstrates <laughs> how the longer you live, the relative significance of each year of your life decreases. For instance, a two-year-old will experience a full half of their young life in a single year. What the fuck? While for an average 30-year-old, each year is just 3.33% of their life, and in your 60s, this could drop to just 1.67%. It all comes down to a loss of novelty. While children are constantly taking on new information, yeah, we that's in day-to-day -day life as adults, and things become routine. That's true. That is so true. That, like... You learn so much when you're younger. I mean, I'm only, I'm almost 19, but I'm still learning like so much new information every day. But at the time you're like 60, it's like, fuck. I kind of learn everything that I need to know. Why is shampoo foam always white? The fuck? I'm, I'm skipping over this question. What the fuck? Because that's what color it's made. I mean, we're not watching that one. That's just embarrassing. Causes motion sickness. That's embarrassing. Motion sickness is a frustratingly common ailment and the nauseating sensation you feel is just a result of mixed signals being sent to your brain, your, which causes yeah. confusion. Yeah. Your inner ear has a big role to play. Two sacs located in the semicircular canals called the saccule and the utricle contain fluid which tells the brain about any imbalances, which is how we know when we're stood up or lying down. On a boat, for example, your inner ear can sense the rocking of the waves even though your eyes might not be able to see it causing your brain to try and make these two conflicting feelings agree, which makes us feel queasy. Ew, cunt, what the what fuck? What causes... <laughs> Was that... I didn't want to see someone throw up. Conf... Can't you just, like... Does that mean if I just, like, cover my ears like that? When I... Like, if I'm on a boat and I don't like motion sickness or some shit, can I just cover my ears? Conflicting that's, feelings like, agree. That's a free life hack. Which makes us feel queasy. <laughs> what causes brain freeze? Brain uh, freeze can put a real downer freeze, on man. cold treats like ice cream. And these short-term headaches occur when something extremely cold touches yeah. the upper Fuck palate or roof of the mouth while rapidly consuming icy food and drink. This kind of stimulus causes vasoconstriction, or narrowing of the blood vessels, and resulting nerve pain, which is generally alleviated by rewarming the upper palate to widen the blood vessels through vasodilation. Mm. Quick fixes like drinking warm water or pressing your tongue. No! Deep. I was just gonna... No! I was just... I thought I was gonna be smart and give everyone a life hack. 
I was gonna give some you know, inspirational information and say, everyone, whenever you have a brain freeze, put your tongue to the top of your mouth and it'll like warm the fucker up. But they've just given it away. I thought only I knew that. Roof of your mouth can get the blood flowing again. You stole my information. Freeze. What is the pink part of our eye? Huh? Almost every part of Where the human body has its eye? own function, but that might not be so true when it comes to the small pink corner of your inner oh, eye. Oh, this the scientific motherfucker. name for this fleshy substance is caruncle, and the truth is it's actually pretty useless. Oh. The creepy thing is that the caruncle is basically the evolutionary remnant of a third eyelid, oh, which reptiles, fish, amphibians, and birds still possess to cover their eyes in a like thin film and keep been. out harmful bacteria. Humans, unfortunately, no longer require a horizontal eyelid, so we're left with a small portion which no longer functions. Imagine! I Who wish knows, we did! It might eventually disappear altogether. Yeah. How can you emergency call without signal? If you find yourself in a survival situation and in need of rescuing or medical attention, you'll need to make an emergency call. But I'm being in service isn't always what it seems. In these situations, a no network available message only refers to your own specific. How the fuck would you have no service, but she still has internet? That makes no sense. Specific carrier network, and your mobile phone is actually equipped to piggyback on any other network in range. That's kind this cool. life-saving feature has been a staple since even the know global system for mobile communications was established in the early 1990s. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And only when there is no coverage for any network in the area will you be truly stuck. Bro, <laughs> why is he getting bit by a dog? Fucking. Like mosquitoes and like a big fucking crocodile snake. What's going on? Why do we get goosebumps? Goosebumps are Why one of our body's goosebumps? many involuntary reactions, but there are actually a few explanations for the strange Ew, phenomenon. What the hell is wrong Tiny with elevations skin? are caused when miniature muscles What's contract like? and create shallow depressions and surrounding protrusions on our skin, causing our hairs to stand on end. This is inherited from our animal ancestors whose thicker hair would create a fluffy layer of warmth and insulation in the cold. Since we now have less body hair, we're left with visible pimples which make us look like human-sized poultry. Goosebumps can also occur in times of stress or heightened emotion due to a sudden rush of adrenaline, much like how a cat's hair stands up when threatened. Why do we only see one side of the moon? Believe it or not- Wait, do we? Wait. So we've ever only seen the one side of the moon, like when we're on Earth and shit. No matter how often you gaze up at the moon, you'll have only ever seen one side. This is because the moon rotates around the Earth at the exact same speed as it rotates around its own axis, which what? takes about 27 days, meaning that the same side is always facing us. What the if fuck? If the moon didn't spin at all, then it would alternatively show its near and far sides. Hey, what, what the is known fuck? Synchronous Why did it happen off? Or tidal locking prevents us from seeing the other hemispheres, Damn, that's and it's tough. been this way for an estimated 4 billion years now. As the Earth's gravity gradually tugged at the moon, it deformed its shape slightly to face us and slowed its rotation, becoming tidally locked. Where does airplane waste go? Most people know by now that airplanes don't just drop human excrement out of the sky That'd be pretty at funny. altitudes. But you just take a big shit and it just lands on some old grandma. No, I'm joking. The truth is far less exciting. In the 1980s, airplane toilets relied on the same blue deodorizing liquid as porta potties, known as Anatec, to push waste from the bowl into the onboard storage tanks. But this had some drawbacks. Besides the increased fuel consumption involved in carrying the fluid, the systems were prone to leaking waste, which would freeze into blue ice, capable of plummeting through the air and oh, causing some no. serious damage. Nowadays, aircrafts use a safer Kepner system involving a powerful vacuum which sucks everything uh, down within seconds. Uh, Tanks holding up to 20 gallons of waste are then safely pumped out after landing, gone. so no need to duck uh, for cover. Why do soda bottles ew. have bumps? The distinctly bumpy design of most popular soda bottles is probably not something you ever thought to just question. So they can but there's stand a legit right. reason why they aren't just flat bottom like water bottles. The standard five pointed bottom is not just a way to make them seem it's fancier, grippier. but a matter of stability. Yeah, hey! Some drinks like Coke and Sprite are served chilled, so the plastic bottle needs to withstand the change in volume that happens when the liquid increases in temperature without toppling over. Soda is also aerated and a flat bottom would bulge when the bottles are pressurized hey, cool. to fill the gas as the drinks are carbonated. They put gas so the in five it? feet are far Bro, more I don't robust. feel safe. Which of these interesting facts to Hey, that's going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed interesting, interesting facts about Google. You're too lazy to Google, I meant. Hey, I mean, this was actually kind of interesting. I was going into this video not expecting a lot because we know the channel Be Amazed can create some uh, pretty not great content. But hey, this one was good, you know. I hope we've all learned a couple of things. If you have, tell me. Um, I've learned pretty much everything. Uh, but hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys <laughs> in the next one.